Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer the most common questions that many of you ask if it will be worth it to be working on the SR Beast or not. Make sure to be watching the video till the end as I'm going to give you the correct answer with the proof of what I'm going to say. So let's just dive in. So the question is if it's worth it to be working on the SR Beast. The answer is yes, and the reason for that, you can take it as a long process into the game. Like if we go to the beast, let's select the SR. Many of you will be thinking like, well, there is a lot of SSR coming and there will be even more coming. Yeah, I totally get you. But on the other hand, you still need to be getting resources and the resources is helping out or it will be gaining even more by the SR. Moving to the SR. It's for now, it's a total of 10 SR beasts. We starting with Pyrodra and we have the newest one have released was the Vanguard. So checking them out. We're taking the Vanguard as an example. Checking the skills for this one. You will see that some of the skills have in a passive. The passive, it means that this will be working no matter if you deploy this beast or not in the marsh or in the exploration. So this skill, all units gain 12% attack. It's a passive. It means it's working on any kind of actions into the game. Either if it's marsh or if it's attack with troops usage, it will be still having this effect. The increase with 12% with attack. And the same time, if go to others, you will see cyclic law here. You're going to see that he have a passive skill to be increasing the rider defense by 12%. That's not it. Still, there is 15% even when having its red 2 star. Go to another one. We have in here Spike Ruler. For him, got all the skills is actually passive. We're starting with the training capacity. This one here, it's increasing the training capacity by 80%. And it's as well going to be increased to 100%. Same time we have in the other skill or the passive. The water hourly output and the water gathering speed is increased by percentage. So all the skills that is having or all the passive in either the SR or the SSR. It's working matter if you deploy this speed or not. We all know yes you will be using the SSR in the pvp or in most of the content into the game but still you got the passive here and the passive is working no matter if you use this beast or not so this is the reason why it's extremely important working on the sr to be upgrading the altar for it the skills all in the military military all the sr work or their on their skills for the military especially the one that have a passive in. like this skill here it's having two skills all units gain 16 percent hp but this one is only active once deployed so when we deploy the cyclic law with the others or spike ruler in the marsh then this skill will take effect but the passive is taken even if he is not deployed. And we have more as well. Having the military skill for the Scorcher. Is increasing here the rage defense by 12%. Here. This is when it's deployed. Well the reason I'm having all max. It's because I was using him. And here we have the race. The hunting energy gain by 9%. So this is one of the most important thing. You should be taken into consideration. Work on. All the SR beast. It's a long term project, will be giving you an extremely crazy outpost. So, yeah, this is the answer with the proof that it's extremely important to be working on the SR. It's a long term project, will be giving you a crazy boost in the later game or in the end game. In the early game, it will be helping you a little bit too, yes, but later it will be giving you a crazy boost. So that's all guys for this video and the answer to the most common question if it's worth it to be working on the SR Beast or not. Make sure guys to be liking the video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments. I'll be more than happy to hear it and we all would like to be knowing what everyone else is thinking around it. For now, take care and see you always on another Make a Domination video.